What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Super Mario Odyssey, my one year impression slash review of the game and how do I feel now that I had the game for, for over a year now and how is it set on my level of like Nintendo Switch games? Now let's just answer that question right off the back. I think it is the best Nintendo Switch game that you can buy for your money, dollar for dollar, comparing it to any game on the system, including of the Breath of the Wild. And I don't want to compare them. I probably say that for another video and another discussion on why I think Mario Odyssey is the better game. But again, let's say that for another video. In this video, I just want to talk about my impressions, my thoughts, my opinions on Super Mario Odyssey. Again, a year after its release. I remember when I first got Super Mario Odyssey and full disclosure, I got the game early. I'm not going to disclose on how I got the game early, but I got the game early about probably a week early, jumped in, completed the game before release. And and roll credits basically and was just like Hmm. And then jumped deeper, obviously, started getting moons and stuff like that outside of the main base game and, you know, with the cube and all that. And was mind blown on how much this felt like a Mario game on how me jumping from world to world, just looking at every nook and cranny, trying to find these moons, doing everything that I thought was in my arsenal to get them, buying hints from the toad so I could get names, so I could essentially see what they were called so I could try to use that hint to gain leverage on how to unlock that moon. Just the hunt for it was amazing. Now, again, this is before I had a guide to jump into and to, you know, look up the last few moons that I needed to, even though I kind of didn't have to. There was a couple of moons that I looked up for, and that's because I basically couldn't physically do them. And that was the jump rope. I couldn't 99 jump rope before I looked up a guide to kind of cheat my way through that and then there was another one with the rc car i think it was rc car and i just couldn't find my way to play that mini game and just basically nail exactly what i had to do as far as how to control the rc car and i again looked up a video on a guide on the best way to control it what you needed to do and i basically learned how to control that rc car with my eyes closed to get the perfect time and treat it more like a rhythm game than than that actual driving game long and short of it i loved my experience and my time with super mario odyssey i loved it so much that i jumped back in i want to say in january January I jump back in because I have this thing where every year I like to start all my games over if that makes any sense like if I have a save file I would delete it not delete it but I would you know start a new save file and just jump in and try to do everything I can as far as try to complete it again and I did that for Super Mario Odyssey I didn't get 99 you know moons I did get a lot I think I've been like the 600s now but I do enjoy Super Mario Odyssey to the point that I completed it once I first got my hands on the game and then did it again a second time at the start of this year and I think 100% in January if I'm not stuck with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee I'm gonna jump into Super Mario Odyssey again it's just the way my brain works I like doing that I like starting the year off with a new late and then thinking to myself let me complete as many games as possible Super Mario Odyssey is going to be on the top of that list and it really does hurt that we didn't get a definitive DLC we got the Luigi's balloon world and like I said I'm grinding right now to get the golden balloons or whatever the case may be and, and that's something that I haven't completed yet mind you is that's because there's a lack of motivation to complete it when you do you just get golden balloons there's not like a huge reward and incentive after that but besides that it's just you know I wish we got in DLC and I sound I may sound like a spoiler brat because basically beating the game is just a start because you get way more moons you get it's like a new game plus and they gave us to that for free within the game and it's just like a thing in my mind I'm like hey but if I didn't pay for anything extra new it, I, I didn't get anything extra new which you shouldn't feel like that because this game is massive if you haven't played for whatever reason and you own the Nintendo switch you owe it to yourself to get this game one but if you don't own a Nintendo Switch and you're looking to buy, I would say this game would be the first thing to buy, even a year later. I just really wish we did get DLC. 
I keep bringing it up, but I really, really, really do wish we got in DLC because it just it just leaves your after completing this game, especially like how, how I have over and over, and you know even one save files 100%. It's just like I want more it's just like i have that itch for another mario adventure and it's like the deluxe you whatever that's coming out the 2d one that's not gonna feel that itch no i want another 3d mario adventure now granted this one took a while i'm pretty sure they started development for this on the wii u and then they were like no scrap and then you know this got pushed to the switch i say that because of the whole map theory that um a lot of people were discussing about when this game first launched about how the map was supposed to be on the Wii U gamepad at all times to help you look for moons and stuff like that. Regardless, Super Mario Odyssey to me deserved DLC. And I know a lot of people, you know, saying that Nintendo wanted this to be a complete package. So when parents got their hold of it and gave it to their kid, they didn't have to worry about microtransactions and stuff like that. And I understand, but I'm like, yo, you guys did that to Zelda. But even though Zelda is not 100% aimed for kids, even though kids do play it, I don't think that it's, again, 100% aimed for kids. That's why they got away with, you know, maybe selling DLC to a Zelda. Zelda audience guys as you guys know this is gonna be a discussion video for you guys as well as me let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Super Mario Odyssey have you played it have you not what are your thoughts now a year later for Super Mario Odyssey do you think it's still the greatest game on the Nintendo Switch like me or do you think another game has dethroned Super Mario Odyssey as we speak is there something I'm forgetting or is there another 3D platformer or not even 3D platformer is there another game that you will recommend as more of a bang for your buck and no this is not if you're watching this video a couple of months after smash is not out don't say smash don't say let's go pikachu obviously those games are going to be amazing and i'm not taking anything away from those games when i'm saying this but odyssey is probably going to be better than both and fight me in the comment section below if you think otherwise so as you guys know i answer all comments so i'm gonna see you guys down there peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one like always guys i'm daddy i'm fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one